Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Rothenberg, a professor of pediatrics at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, and I'm very pleased to share with you a recent breakthrough we have concerning a new disease that we've described called eosinophilic esophagitis. This is an emerging food allergic disease that's characterized by a variety of symptoms in children and adults. These symptoms can include vomiting, difficulty growing, abdominal pain, and in older people, difficulty swallowing and sometimes food getting stuck in the throat. We've shown that this is a food allergic disease. The study that we're releasing is based on our recent findings that the disease is caused by a loss of an antiprotease called Sphinx 7. What we show in the new study is that the Sphinx 7 is actually targeting an enzyme called calocrine 5. What's exciting about this finding is that there is a drug that's currently approved by the FDA for another reason called alpha-1 antitrypsin. And this drug actually blocks the calocrine 5. And what this means is that when you lose the Sphinx 7, which is the cause of EOE, we can take the drug that's FDA approved and likely treat the disease. This isn't just a theory, but we show in this paper that we can achieve this in an animal model of the disease. We gave the FDA approved drug to the animals and lo and behold, their disease features were attenuated. So these are very exciting results that lead us now to want to try this drug, alpha-1 antitrypsin in patients. This is a breakthrough in understanding that the disease is caused by a balance between proteases and antiproteases. And if you shift this balance, you unleash the proteases, and this causes the inflammation, the release of the inflammatory mediators that are associated with the eosinophils, which are the white blood cells that are characteristic of the disease. So based on these findings, we will first use the FDA-approved drug, but we will also tailor other drugs that target calicrin 5 and other proteases that are involved in this disease. I'd be happy to share more information about this with you if you're interested. Thank you and have a nice day.